Okay, so using my tool, you simply line up your you line up your binding along the edge of your quilt top. You're going to take your ruler, your tool, and you're going to slip. Um, if you can see this groove to the side here, it will slip right over your hopping foot. You'll turn it so that this edge will stay up against the edge of your binding in your quilt top. Now, because we have tool all around all four sides, we can now start sewing, which I don't have it threaded, but if you start sewing you'll see how it keeps it nice and flat so there's no ruffle, ruff, ripples or puckers or anything to mess with. When you get that done, you simply make sure that's lined up. You slide it down. You keep it lined up with your edge. Turn your machine back on and keeping that hopping foot running along the edge of the ruler, you've done the next section. Stop your machine. Make sure that's lined up. All the way down, you've sewn it. Line it up. Now you're going to make sure that this is about even with the left edge of the quilt here so that when you stop you're a quarter inch away from the edge. Then I remove the ruler. First I would have backed it up a few stitches then remove the ruler. Then I stop up. Oh, sorry about that. I stop. I turn off my machine. Bring my needle up and then just like regular domestic binding attachment, you'd fold your binding back, you'd bring your binding forward, needle down, and I do like to take one or two stitches back and forth just to make sure I'm holding that secure. The ruler goes on, and now you're lining this edge of the ruler up. Start your machine. Just stay right along that edge till you get to the end. Stop. Um, then you make